look. I look like a cockatoo. There you go. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's much better. I'm in Chicago. I know, I'm very excited. Um, I'm here with the Hoxton Hotel. They've opened a new one up in Chicago. I think it was over the summer. Um, so they brought me over and it's in conjunction with Choose Chicago, which is like the Chicago tourism board. Very cool. Um, and I'm here for like five days, like quite a long trip really. So I thought I would take you along for the ride. And we got here yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday because I felt like a turd. Um, as you do when you've travelled for that long. We had a stopover from Dublin. So we got to Dublin, got back on a plane, made it to Chicago. Um, the flight was actually quite nice. It was very smooth. And I managed to read a whole book in the process. I read David Sedaris, Me Talk Pretty One Day. Um, it was really good. Watched the RuPaul Drag Race final. Great. Arrived in Chicago. Um, so we got here. The rest of the girls went out to find Lona. I went out to find a Sephora. <laughs> Um, went to Sephora, didn't buy anything, however I made up for it a little bit, I did buy I think like four things from Ulta, so there'll be a mini haul in this video somewhere. Um, I'm very, very excited for one of the purchases, I'm going to save you using it to later on in the video because maybe, just maybe, I've been reunited with my L'Oreal telescopic waterproof mascara. <gasps> so we'll do a little live uh, first impressions of that later on. Um, and then I walked all the way back. I walked like 35 minute walk back to the hotel and then we went to a restaurant, I'll write the name of it here, which is on the top of the Hobson Hotel. We went there for dinner last night. It was lush. Completely forgot to take any videos. And the one photo that I did take was extremely unflattering. I'll put it here, but I don't think it would the sound like as good as it was. Um, she had lots of ceviche, like it was, it was beautiful really, really, really nice. Um, and the girls that I'm with are lovely. Um, none of them vlog, which makes me feel like a even more like awkward turtle getting out my camera. I wouldn't sound like a natural vlogger anyway. It always makes me feel a bit weird. Um, but obviously I'm comfortable doing it in front of like Mark or Lily or someone like that. But yeah, when people are like, so a vlog, I'm like, ah. I will try my best to vlog, um, but we might end up just doing like little evening catch ups. <laughs> in the hotel room. But I managed to sleep all right last night. The girls are messaging in the WhatsApp group, like I woke up at four. I don't want to message and be like, I slept fine. Um, I think I went to bed about 11. I managed to wake up at seven. So feeling pretty good. And um, I booked in to do a Pilates lesson this morning and thought that could be quite fun. So I'm currently just getting ready for that. I'm kind of half getting myself ready for the day. So when I get back, I'm not going to have a lot of time, I'm going to have like 20 minutes to have a quick shower and maybe like be my hair. So I thought if I do my makeup now. Oh, sorry, I've got you up so high. <sighs> ah, oh, much better. Um, I thought if I do my makeup now, I'll set out my clothing for like later on. And then I'll just do a quick shower, put some curls in my hair when we get back. But I'm excited for the Pilates. It's a place called Page One Pilates and it's like a four minute walk. From the hotel so i was like i haven't really got an excuse if it is so close to the hotel so we're gonna do that now and then today we're gonna have a day exploring chicago i think we're gonna go to the andy warhol exhibition um, i think they've got a nice place booked for lunch doing something this afternoon i can't remember what but it sounded good and then we've got dinner and drinks so quite like a full day hence why i got my shopping like out the way and done and dusted. Um, but I want to take like those photos, I want to put together like a city guide. So if I haven't put that up already, it'll be up soon. If it's already up, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, just gonna continue getting ready for the date. Wow, you're so wonky as well. Sorry guys, I'm on a six hour time difference. That would have been so much better. Right, tomorrow you have the right exposure and you won't be wonky, promise. Oh my word, that Pilates place is so cute. I'll insert a photo of it here. Um, also, big love to Christina, who I met in there. She was so nice. She was on reception. She was so lovely. Um, she literally made my day. So thank you. Your kind words. Oh my god, I can't feel my butt. Yeah. <laughs>
to be chilly. I think it's like nine degrees, which is fine. Um, but the wind is like 51 miles per hour. Ah! I'm gonna experience the windy city in its true form. Um, so I've got like a thermal layer on, under a custom made jumper, I'm gonna wear my new coat, which I just absolutely love. In fact, I will show you today's outfit because it's basically the same as yesterday's outfit. It's just all the layers. Although yesterday it wasn't too chilly. It was a really good go yesterday. Um, definitely go to that tiki bar. It's like voted one of the best 100 bars in the world. And um, Frankie, the Chicago PR, ended up having a cocktail that had a banana in it in the shape of a dolphin. It was just absolutely fabulous. It was really fun. I also can't move after Pilates yesterday, so that's good. That did whatever it is that it should do. Oh, that donut as well. The donut the size of my head. Um, the group of girls who I'm with are brilliant and they all just like love food as much as I love food. So we're just revolving this trip around food. Brilliant. Oh, and the pie. Oh my word. Yeah, all we did was eat yesterday. I like had to lay in bed and like digest before I could sleep. Um, but it was really fun and today I think we're going to do much of the same and um, we're going up the sky deck first thing it's quite early now it's like half six um, we're going up there for a spot of breakfast and also just to like take in views so that'd be fun and then after that we've got a walking tour like an architecture walking tour then we're going somewhere for lunch and I think we've got a bit of free time in the afternoon which is good I have a couple of things I want to catch up on um, I think I'm going to go to a spin class I booked into a spin place it's like two minutes away from here Thought it would be good to like get a bit more exercise in. And then um, yeah, dinner tonight. So should be a good, if very chilly one. Okay, so this is the uncovered look. This is a ASOS white uh, cashmere jumper from about two years ago. These are the Topshop Editor jeans. I just like that they're a bleach wash. Looks kind of cool because everything else that kind of goes with this outfit is like dark and black. I've got the and other stories. These are the chunky winter boots. They're fab. It rained an absolute shed ton yesterday. And these are brilliant. I could like go in all the puddles. And then this is with all my layers on. This is the Arquette um, coat, like made out of recycled down of feather. It's so warm, absolutely no complaints. Got on an acne scarf. This is an Arquette hat. Got my gloves. These are like North Face ones that you can use your phone whilst you uh, have them on. And there you go. I'm ready. <laughs> crazy in a stationery shop <laughs> it was so good it was so so good Millie who I'm on the trip with and I'll link all of the girls um Instagrams who I'm on the trip with down below for you they're all really 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 lovely girls um Millie had been there before last time she came to Chicago it's in the clip earlier it was such a good stationery shop um so I will do like a little haul maybe I'll do that tomorrow at some point tomorrow's Thanksgiving so I think we have quite a bit of free time because quite a few things here are closed which is cool very much looking forward to just like wandering around going on a little adventure and um, it's kind of what we did today I feel like we've been kind of like pretty full-on since we got here so I took like an hour or two this afternoon um I was supposed to go to a spin class but we had eaten so much food I like had my spin stuff on I have a leggings on everything and then I was like okay I'm just gonna jump up and down a couple of times and see what happens and I was like burping all over the shop thought maybe a spin session isn't what I need right now I did a little like mean a bit of yoga here on the floor instead it, it was fine it was great caught up with work and then I'm getting ready um I just put oh, me getting ready is just putting eyeshadow on that's it just put some eyeshadow on and now I'm ready to go no I'm in my uh, lounge where I'm not ready to go um I'm just gonna get changed it is kind of cold like today it was very windy and kind of cold so I'm gonna make sure I've got lots of layers on I think we're gonna go downstairs into the lobby and like have wine before we head to the timeout market which just opened in Chicago it's very new um, and it's like a two minute walk away from the hotel, so that's really cool. And I think we might go for like a drink as well, it's really nice. Had a little chat with Mark, he cleaned the oven today, like he sent me a photo, it literally looks brand new, like, oh my word, like dream guy to the max. Um, I think he made some soups as well, so it's nice to catch up with him. Have to say, I am loving Chicago, it's really, really cool. The food scene here is so, 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 so 
good. It's really like up there with like New York, Toronto, really enjoy those two places as well. It's definitely like up there, would love to come back with Mark one day. I think he would really, really, really enjoy this. And it's made me very excited for New York over New Year's as well. Like I just love the Christmas vibes over here. There's like serious Christmas vibes. It's getting me really in the mood for that. <laughs> today. I feel thankful for Mark, always, he's the best, and one lucky lady indeed. Um, I'm also feeling thankful for being on this trip. The girls are so lovely, Chicago is amazing, like completely up my street, having a great time. Feeling obviously thankful for you guys because it's because of you guys that you get to do these kinds of things. Um, it's been so nice to like, I've met two of you here so far, just like wandering around and that is just always the nicest thing that kind of blows my mind and I feel like when I'm older and telling my grandkids about this, like they just won't believe me. I'm feeling thankful for the popcorn I ate in bed this morning. It was really good, I got it at CBS. I'm feeling extremely thankful to my and other story boots. I don't know what I would have done without like a chunky, fluffy, flat winter boot, like I've barely worn my other boots I bought with me at all, like in the evenings, I just keep wearing these. Um, yeah, so that is, I mean, I'm obviously thankful for a whole list of things that would fill easily the rest of this video. So today we're gonna go see the Thanksgiving parade, which is pretty cool. I feel like I've only seen that in like films. So <laughs> it's a thing that happens in real life. Um, we're gonna go watch that, which should be fun. I hope I see a gigantic turkey on like a float. I'll be happy. Then I think we're coming back to the hotel and having brunch. We haven't actually spent that much time at the hotel, so that'll be nice. And more of like the photography Instagram girls that are here wanna get some photos of that. So I'm more than happy to oblige. It means I just get to eat food. Then I think at lunchtime, we're going to this like massive Starbucks. I think it's like the biggest Starbucks in the world. Just have a like look around. I don't think we're gonna eat there, but I think you can. I don't know where we're gonna go for lunch. Um, we'll get some food in. And I think we've actually got quite a chill afternoon. Um, it's Thanksgiving, so a lot of things are closed out here. So we'll probably just go for like a wander around the neighborhood. Um, just to sort of see what's going on. And then for dinner, we've got Thanksgiving feast. Brilliant. I am just loving how this trip is like basically all to do with food. And then I'm very excited about this evening's activity. We're going to a place called Second City, which is basically like an improv show. Loads of comedians that I love have like performed there or started off there. It's supposed to be very, very, very funny. So that is like the perfect end to a lovely day, I'd say. And kind of the end of our trip, we leave tomorrow morning. Um, basically all we've got tomorrow is like time to sort of pack up in the morning. Then we're going to Giordano's, I think it's Giordano's, uh, for some deep dish pizza. Yes. Although not being a huge lover of melted cheese, <laughs> I feel like I'm not sure deep dish would be my favorite, but I am willing to give it a go. Um, I did see a slice the other day and it has a lot of tomato sauce in it. Um, today's outfit is basically all the layers of like anything thermal that I've got with me. So I've got on like a thermal layer underneath. This is from Uniqlo. This is a ASOS white cashmere kind of mini turtleneck jumper. I'm going to put my Uniqlo like mini down jacket over the top and then I'm going to wear my Whistles leopard print fluffy coat because I feel like today I want to wear the fluff. I'm feeling thankful for this. So here's the outfit underneath the ASOS white cashmere jumper I was telling you about. Um, the redone jeans, these are just like the pair that I have in blue, bit in black. The end of the story's boots, of course. And then here it is with all of the layers. So I've just added on the Acne Studio scarf, Arquette hat. I adore this hat. It has kept my head so warm. Make sure I'll link it down below for you. And then the Whistles coat. And also underneath I've got this like, not that you can see, like Uniqlo down layer as well, the little Eve bag, which is just, oh my God, this bag is perfect. It is so good for these types of trips because you can just wear it like over your shoulders and then like wear it as a little bag if you wanna look a little fancier in the evening. Um, but yeah, zero degrees, bring it on.
great it was so <laughs> nice like heartwarming and we were kind of standing by the tv bit where like these people were about to have their big moment on tv and it was just yeah it like warmed it warmed my cockles i got a bit teary i can't remember did i take video footage of lil sebastian i can't remember if i didn't i'm gonna like insert a clip here because it, it, made, it made my day. But we've just got back. We did a tiny bit of like, it wasn't Black Friday shopping, but it was like Thanksgiving shopping. Like, so as I mentioned, I haven't bought anything from Sephora. Oh, I know. I think that's just because we've actually got so many of those Sephora brands now in the UK that it wasn't so like, oh my word, Drunk Elephant, Fresh, Kate Somerville, IGK, like all of these other things we now have in the UK. So I wasn't as like desperate to get my hands on things. But I did pick up a couple of things in Ulta. And I mean a couple of things. Four things. The first thing, this is so random. The first thing is this, it's the Flawless Pro Facial hair remover um i read an article on into the gloss all about how this is like the best thing for getting rid of your mustache um it sort of like gets really close to the skin and shaves off the hair um without making it like bumpy or without causing any like reactions um so i saw this and this was rechargeable oh bollocks it's gonna have a us plug oh it's a usb charger oh that's cool i can handle that um so i got a nice little um hair remover for my mustache I got the KKW Beauty, the lip liner in the shade 0.5 Nude. Um, I know Alana really likes these lip liners. I don't think this is the one that she loves. I think she likes a more brownier one. Um, but I really loved the tone of this. <laughs> you can't see that. Can you see that? Like not too brown, not too pink. A really nice lip liner and obviously better to get it here rather than in the UK because you can ship it. But the shipping is kind of crazy. And then, guys, this is the most exciting thing. L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Mascara. Now, if I had a penny for every time over the last couple of months that someone had DM'd me on Instagram to tell me that this is available again in the US, um, I would have been able to afford to buy it just with those pennies. Um, I haven't used it yet. Maybe I'll use it tomorrow on camera. I just completely have forgotten to do it. I wanted to do like a little on-camera test. So yeah, maybe tomorrow. Actually, I won't wear mascara tomorrow because we're flying home, CBA. Um, there will be a video at some point in the future where I use this mascara for the first time on camera. I am desperate to use it. Can you believe it? So I bought two. Um, if it's incredible, I'm coming back to the US for New Year's. I will pick up millions. I don't know, maybe like five. I'm so happy to have that back in my life. Um, any like OG viewers here will understand the excitement. Um, but then yesterday when we had our little tour of Lincoln Square, which was amazing, like we had the cutest, most adorable guide. I think they're called greeters and they do it on a volunteer basis. You can't actually even give them tips, I don't think either. Um, he was amazing. He was so sweet. It was really, really chilly. So he was just taking us around all the shops there. They're all like family owned, been like independent since the beginning. And so I got a couple of things. Um, I got Mark a few things actually. I got him a golden maple dry glaze from this place called Savory and Spice. So this is for our Christmas turkey. I thought he would like that. Then we went to this place called Mert's Apothecary where I met a lovely, lovely viewer and she was just so friendly and so nice. And I saw this when we first walked in. It's from CO Bigelow and it is their natural bristle toothbrush in tortoise shell. It's adorable. Definitely gonna add this into my little travel stash. Um, I also picked up something from Mark, this is on Carrie Ann's recommendation, and this is the Sweet Comb Chicago Beard Conditioner made with pure natural beeswax. This is a Chicago brand, it's made here in Chicago, and um, yeah, she's like, it'll be a cool thing to take home for him, so pick this up. Then I bought this, this is from Boy Smells, and this is a scented candle in the scent Damask, and it's got rose, apricot, labdanum, don't know what that is, cardamom, oud, citrus, guiac and tobacco mm, i don't know what some of those things are but it smells oh it kind of smells a bit pumpkin spicy it smells of thanksgiving vibes it smells like all of the wonderful smells we've had around chicago it smells so good so i was very chuffed to pick up that and then after lincoln square we went to a place called andersonville which had gorgeous shops again like loads of independent shops really good like vintage shopping we went to a place called martha mays oh my word so many of you guys have recommended me this place is like the cutest stationery shop the lady who owns it is a lovely lady and they had appointed in there and i've had some appointed stationery before i think it's based in la not 100 percent sure but it's all american made you can order it from the uk you can ship it online but this was an exclusive to martha mays and this is their year task planner and in, in this shade it's exclusive to her but you can get it online in other different colors 
um, and it's a 12 month planner with a book cloth cover and it's spiral bound which is really really nice and I just loved how this was laid out this was laid out how I personally lay out my notepads um, so if you fancied like life organization planning video for like 2020 let me know I can show you how I like plan my weeks um, but this it just looked perfect I was like oh my word that's how I do my weeks definitely definitely will use that and then I picked up some brass page markers as well cute and these are brilliant because I feel like so often I just want to highlight one page um, but any like clips that I've got are too wide whereas these are really, really thin really tiny so can hold single pages and like bookmark single pages even if they're really really thin um so the so combination of these two 2020 is going to be my most organized edited life year yet um, but that was everything really chuffed with my purchases there um i'll write a little like shopping guide up on the blog of where we headed um but yeah right time to get changed and ready because we're going for thanksgiving dinner i'm just so excited for this and then we're going to a place called second city tonight so quick outfit change and then uh, we're off. So for dinner, I'm wearing the same top layer as earlier. I've got my hat on, my scarf, my big old coat, but then underneath, whoa, I got a dress. Not that you can really see it, uh, but this is the end of the stories. Leather dress with the belt around the middle. Got my Ganny boots on, my high studios tights. Um, it's actually Black Friday. I might pick up another pair of these in a slightly like lower denier, because uh, I do really like these. I think these are the highest ones they do, but some people have noted they think they would look better with a slightly more sheer tight. And you know what? I agree. So I think I'm gonna pick some of those up whilst Black Friday sale is on, because they're 25% off at the moment. And I love them, they're so comfortable. Although this has a belt around the middle, this is very easily made a little bit looser. And yeah, I just wanted to be able to like fit all my Brussels sprouts and my cranberry sauce and my turkey and mashed potatoes in my belly. <laughs> I am very happy that I got to experience a Thanksgiving feast. The sweet potatoes had little mini like Italian meringues on it. Blew my mind. Um, and then we went to go see Deck the Hallmark, I think that's what it was called, um, at Second City. It actually runs to the 31st of December. If you're here before then, oh my gosh, you have to go. It's so funny. It's like scripted sketch comedy but with like improv bits. It was hilarious, like completely my kind of like comedy so many comedians that i love like started off their careers there and yeah it was it was so good it was so 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 good i now really want to go to the upright citizens brigade when we go to new york because yeah it was it was brilliant brilliant really brilliant, brilliant. Would highly highly recommend and then today today's our final day um i'm just <laughs> i'm packing up to uh go back it's it's not going very well um and i kind of have stopped it there because we're actually going to spin class which is good because hopefully it'll knacker us out for the flight home the flight home is like one of those ones where you have to kind of try and sleep for the whole flight i normally sit there super alert with my eyes like wide open so hopefully this helps so we're gonna do that then i'm gonna finish off this and then we're finally gonna try deep dish pizza for the first time enjoyed it you need like one and a half slices though i am very full but i just went to the water coffee to go get some donuts these are the donuts that they sell at donut vault which was amazing so i've taken some home for mark and then this trip is done we're like going to the airport now um it's been amazing 100 percent will come back I want to come back with mark thank you so much to choose chicago and the hoxton hotel for bringing me over here it's been incredible <laughs> i just absolutely loved it i feel like i could live here actually oh maybe it's a bit cold but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with another vlog, which I think will be even more festive. Um, I'll see you then. Bye.